Anne of the Shiny Shiny and the Tech Digest, and I'm here with an item from the History Vault. This is the Nokia Booklet 3G, a portable computer made by phone manufacturers Nokia back in 2009. So, you're asking, why are we looking at it now? It's 2010. Um, well, basically, if ever you've been paying any attention to uh, the old products cracked down to iPhone last week, you see that tablet computers and portable computers are big news right now. So we just thought we'd take a look back and see why this early attempt from a phone company to make a portable computer didn't work out. Um, on first glance, it's got everything in its favour. Um, it's really beautifully made. Um, that's a gorgeous high-res screen there. Um, this casing, solid aluminium, it's very smooth, you know, it's very prettily done. Um, great connectivity, so USB, it's got an SD slot, it's got a place for your SIM card, so 3G modem, well, they get internet on the go using the mobile phone networks. Um, even an HDMI output, which is pretty unusual in a network. There's a webcam, it's an incredible 12 hour battery life, the iPad's only 9 hours, that's pretty good. Um, it's really nice. Um, I mean, well done, Nokia. You can see the kind of elements from Nokia phone design in this too, so just that kind of, just very solid square corner look, right, Nokia. Nokia is best. But on the downside, um, I think it's a little bit, uh, this isn't very intuitive. Um, it's quite heavy. Obviously, that aluminium weighs you down. Um, so, why didn't it work? Um, there's quite a straightforward reason. Um, and it's a bit of a price tag. That will set you back to £650, which is frankly incredible for a netbook. Um, Dell Minis sell for £300, and EPC sell for £250, and you really can't get away with selling something in this form factor for that much money. Apple do. Apple sell their iPad, top, top spec iPads, for £699. But you need to be a lot better. <laughs> to be able to um, command that kind, of, that kind of price. So either you need a real wow factor, which is what Apple have gone for, or else this, this would be a best seller at £300, but prices are at the market. A little lesson from history books for the makers of today's computers.